Hi, I'm JC here at Autocrit. As a writer, you want to mix up your sentence structures because it makes your writing far more lively and interesting than it would be if every sentence sounded the same. But we have to watch out for two common pitfalls, starting a sentence with an initial conjunction or starting with an initial ing verb. Today, we're going to take a look at conjunctions. Initial conjunctions are when you start your sentences with a conjunction, such as and, but, or, for, so, yet, or because. So here's something that might surprise you. It's fine to start your sentence with a conjunction. The old rules of never starting a sentence with a conjunction are outdated, and modern English finds this approach perfectly acceptable, so don't be afraid of it. But, and this is key, don't use it too often. Here's an example of how too much can get annoying. But Sammy wasn't about to rush home. So what if he was late? And so what if Jennifer was angry? Because the truth was, he was a little sick of Jennifer, so tired of her nagging, he didn't want to hear about her annoying boss, or listen to that cheesy pop music she loved, or spent his nights watching bad reality TV because she just had to find out who got voted off the island. You can see how quickly these constant conjunctions start to irritate and how they can make a sentence sound flat and repetitive. They're stretching out the author's message far too much, so what happens if we switch it up? Sammy wasn't going to rush, so what if he was late and Jennifer was angry? The truth was, he was a little sick of Jennifer, sick of her constant nagging, her complaints about her boss, her cheesy pop music, and her dumb obsession with reality TV. See the difference? There's one last thing to know about. Repeatedly starting with a conjunction can work as long as you want that sentence or conjunction to stand out. Think, for example, if you have a neurotic character in your book. You might want to start many of their thoughts with a series of but and and to highlight their rapid fire anxiety. And, and, but, and. Keeping an eye on your sentence starters is a great way to pick out passages that might be stealing life from your writing. And that's where Autocrit steps in. Watch this. Just hop into Autocrit, load your text, and you can have your sentence starters highlighted for an easy overview. With the extra guidance over here in the sidebar, you can see when you're using too much of a certain word compared to other successful novels. Just click to hop right to them and let the handy red marks guide your path. It's just what you need to quickly tighten things up and create the reading experience you wanted all along. And that's it for now. Happy editing from all of us here at Autocrit. Thanks for watching.